Stepanski, and we had from the Outstanding Volunteer Award. So, he was up uh, uh, poking around Pitchard Rocks National oh, yeah. Park, well, or National uh, Lakeshore last yeah. week. Yeah. Oh, it was, it was stunning up there. Highly oh, recommended. Yeah. You ever get a chance yeah. to go up there, go up there. Okay. <laughs> I do. I, will. I came ready. I came ready to get in the water. Never bad, though, to have to go, just in case. I'm like, nobody laughs though, when I fall on my butt, okay? That's all I ask. Nobody I was looking at the algae, and I'm thinking, butt. yeah, it's got to be pretty darn slippery. It there. is. Whoa! Yeah, this section of the river is channelized, so this is going to be my view for most of the day. Not bad. Hello, everyone. I'm Sam Love. I do a video blog on YouTube called the Calumet Wilderness, but I'm in a different place today. Yeah, today I'm out for my first trip ever on the Kankakee River, so I'm in a different region altogether. You know, you got the Calumet region, which is a uh, northwesternmost Indiana, a little bit of northeastern Chicago, and then below that and to the east and actually a bit to the southwest you have the Kankakee region, which is much, much bigger, much bigger history than I could get into in a short video. So I'll just say uh, go check out the film Everglades of the North and you'll, you'll understand quite a bit about the Kankakee. So today, just kind of exploring new waters for me. So glad to have you with. Yeah, so if you come up here, you could see what were the original oxbows of the lake. And uh, pretty dry right now. I don't think I've seen a spot where the boundary between Lake County and elsewhere is so distinct as it is here. This is really kind of cool, you know, it's like this wall of trees here. And I'm in the middle of it. I actually have done a Calumet Wilderness video in the Kankakee watershed. We did uh, Long Lake to Canada Lake in Valparaiso, north of Valparaiso. See this little little bit that juts up, uh, and that is in the that is south of the Laurentine Divide. So that goes into the Kankakee, ultimately the Illinois, and into the Mississippi. Well, it's really amazing when the power boats aren't out here. It is dead quiet for artificial human sounds. It's it's actually fairly quiet with natural sounds too, but yeah, this is really nice. Very peaceful out here. I am way ahead of the rest of the group. That's all right. Very much enjoying it. Now the Kankakee region's got such a great history. You know, even my family, my mom's side farmed in uh, Newton and Jasper counties, Lincoln and Keener townships, better known as the DeMott area. So we were down here a lot as kids. Well, as is the case everywhere, this river is really low. Um, almost this entire trek, I could see the bottom. And it's actually very clear. As I'm getting closer to state line, no, I can still see the bottom. I thought it was getting deeper and murkier here, but... Uh, uh, maybe three, three and a half feet most. You can definitely tell from the uh, sandy banks how much lower it is here right now. Oh, 
Well, the end is in sight. You can see the state line bridge up ahead. I'm kind of glad to get to see it. I think it's coming down. I think I read that. So kind of cool to see it from this angle. Walked over it. Don't think I'd want to drive over it. I don't think you can drive over it. Well, it's just gorgeous out here. I mean, it's it's shallow, it's mucky, it's a lot. The water's a lot lower, but still, just beautiful open wetland here. A couple of egrets off in the distance. No noise. No gasoline smells, no car sounds, nothing. Just me and nature. It's gorgeous out here. I like coming out here in the wintertime as well, actually. I think wetlands are beautiful almost year-round. And the nice thing out here on the water, I haven't had any problems with mosquitoes or bugs or anything like that. So, yeah, good current today, good cloud cover. So, yeah, first foray under the Kankakee was really wonderful. So now the issue, I have, it's very shallow leading to the state line uh, put out spot and the current going into Illinois is actually quite quick. Uh, I thought maybe I'll go and do a loop around and come back. I thought, nah, nah, don't quite have that energy. So I'm gonna use what energy I have to figure out how I'm gonna get to the uh, to, to dry land here without having to carry my boat through this muck. Hey, that was fun. And we got a shuttle bus to take us back to where our car is at. So very convenient. Would not want to paddle this upstream too far. So thank you, Northwest Indiana Paddling Association, for hooking this up. Another great event. If you haven't joined them already, do so. kind of interesting. I am on the far southwesternmost corner of Lake County. In front of me, Newton County. Over this way, this is Illinois. And then looking back up, all Lake County. So the farthest southwest corner of the northwesternmost county in the state. And I've got to go from the southwesternmost corner of the northwesternmost county to the northeastern corner of the northwesternmost county. So I better get going. All right, y'all. Take care.